सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम या सो वी आर डूइंग यूएचवी थ्री एंड इन यूएचवी थ्री वी आर ऑन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल एंड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी वर ऑन लेक्चर ट्वेंटी टू we were um discussing about participation of the human being in human human relationships so we talked of the nine values established values that we have already spoken of in um the second fdp that you all have attended so you are familiar with the nine established values starting from trust and going all the way up to love and now we were yesterday we had started discussing the expressed value that when you have this value established in you what does it look like in the expression in your behavior so we had started with this discussion and uh, what we had um, completed the discussion about yesterday that we had uh, given as assignment so we had said about happiness peace satisfaction bliss this harmony at the level of the different activities within the cell and we had asked you to see if you can try to distinguish this within yourself whether you can see within yourself these feelings happiness peace satisfaction bliss so um if anybody has any thoughts on that we can discuss that first and then we'll come back to what we had started with the feeling the value in human to human relationships so when we are talking about peace happiness peace satisfaction bliss these are the values with a which are within the self when we are just talking of the self the other values that we were talking about yesterday what we started to open up was the values that we are able to have when we are participating with other human beings in human human relationships so we'll come back to that but meanwhile if somebody has any or if you have any questions regarding um, what we discussed yesterday we can take that yeah in the yesterday's assignment didi i when i observed i am able to understand whatever is there in the assignment mm -hmm. but when it comes to my own experience mm -hmm. so i am able to uh, distinguish between happiness peace and satisfaction mm -hmm. but uh, when it comes to bliss if i just see the words that are written then because i am still not able to see the space mm -hmm. so is it so that i am not able to experience bliss till now yeah that's what i mean these are words that we use bliss yes anand param anand all this but they are you know uh, until we experience them directly it is only in our thoughts it is some yes. um, by the word we are indicating something but we may not have been able to directly see it which is fine 
because you go from activities, isn't it? So you, I mean, you start with selecting, tasting, then you go up to thought, then with the thought, you have, you know, you churn those thoughts, you think about things again and again, whatever is being said. I mean, you receive it as information. Yes, yes. And then you think about it. And then as you, you know, go further and advance to, um, say, the feeling, then the feeling takes predominance rather than the thought. So similarly, when you advance to the understanding, then you get a broader perspective and you are able to see much more than just with the contemplation of the relationship that you were able to see earlier. So now you are, you know, you start with the thought. Yes, but there is a clarity, a kind of clarity uh, is there. Uh, but when it comes to directly, living, uh, so when it comes to my living, then there needs to be something done for it. Huh. So that yeah. when it comes to the living, that is the indicator whether yeah. that is ensured within us or not. Yeah. So for that, we may have many sanskars, many assumptions that are clouding our view from time to time. And ultimately, that's what we are trying to do to purify our sanskars so that all our sanskars can be in line with the natural and natural acceptance and then you know when we are able to directly see through the higher activities then we can have that experience also but that's okay when you say i am still not able to see don't worry about it i mean this is uh, if we have the expectation that by now we should be able to see, then it would be an unreal expectation because it does take time. Yes, yes, it definitely. And we can go by the indicators. Like you said, it is not there in the living. That is an indicator that I have not yet been able to ensure that within myself. And that's okay. I am somewhere on the journey. I'm on that path and I'm moving along. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, yes. And, and I keep be... enjoying what I'm experiencing so far in the journey. So one way to look at, like I always keep saying, you know, you have a glass that is half full of water. So you can either feel good that you have that half glass or you can keep getting you know, getting upset and reacting that uh, only half is full and when am I going to have the full glass? That has Either way, many... you are dealing with only that half glass. Yes, yes. But it makes all the difference about how I feel within me. So this is what we, you know, when we say we look for happiness, we keep doing that. When I reach there, I will be happy. When I do this, I will be happy. We yes, may not yes. say it in so many words, but this is what we are doing. We are not enjoying the journey. We are waiting to reach the destination. And then we think we will enjoy. But when we reach the destination, then we find, okay, this is not what I wanted. I wanted something else. Then again, we start, you know, um, having that contradiction, that anxiety, that tension that I want to get there, I want to get there, I want to get there. So you'll find that throughout our life, we look for experiences outside for happiness. And when we get to the experience, it is then we realize that this is not quite what I thought it would be. And very soon, you want to go further. You want to go somewhere else. You want something else for that happiness. 
So ultimately, at least now we are able to see the goal. And we are able to see where we want to reach. But we should also be able to see that it is not just the goal, it is the entire journey. And that is possible right now, right here. Yes. If I understand my feeling. Yes, yes. So uh, we can keep our focus on that. Then we'll see that we can actually be joyful much of the time. But we create problems for ourselves because of our own assumptions. Yes, yes. Uh, I have one more question. It mm -hmm. is regarding peace. It is written in the assignment only, justice guided sensation and health and profit based comparing. Can you please explain this justice guided sensation and health and profit based comparing? Yeah. So if you look at, you know, when you are um, not having, say, when you have not activated any of the higher activities, then at that time, uh, there may be this thought that, you know, sensation, I can use sensation to get happiness through the body. No? Yes. So I go for tasty food because I feel it will, I'll be happy when I eat tasty food. So I eat tasty food, but I'm not paying attention to the health of the body. I'm just going by taste. Then this would be unguided sensation. Okay. Isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. But if I'm guiding my sensations through the higher activities, then it's okay. I will enjoy the, I will still enjoy the taste. Not that I have to eat bland and uh, food that is horrible tasting, but I will still enjoy the taste. But beyond the taste, I will be looking at whether it is nourishing for the body or not. What is it going to do for the body? Because the purpose of the food is very clear to me now. No? Yes. So I will enjoy the taste, but I will make sure that I am eating that food which is not just tasty, but also which is good for the body. So I will make those calls based on the guidance from the higher activities. Similarly, when it comes to health. So I may have been using a lot of resources depending on a lot of people for you know, taking care of the health of the body. I may have been, you know, indulging in getting this from others. For instance, um, you know, doing a whole lot of tests, I must make sure that the body is good. I am very um, identified with the body. This is when it is unguided. And I may be doing things which, based on whatever my opinion, based on whatever my assumption is about health, I may go to big gyms. No? I may be looking at um, how I can use more and more resources so that my body can be in health. But I have no idea about the purpose. My idea of um, having a healthy body is just so that I can enjoy it with the senses. So I want to be able to do that. Therefore, I take care of the health of the body, but not in the sense of making effort for it, but rather just expecting something from outside to do it for me. So depend on doctors, depend on medication, depend on treatment, surgery, whatever. Can you see that? Yes. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. So when yes, I am please. with my higher activities, when I have um, this health guided by 
the higher activities then i see i am very aware of the purpose of the body and i want to maintain the body in the right health so that it can be utilized for the purpose of the self for right understanding right feeling therefore when i am aware of the purpose and when i can see with the higher activities i see my role my participation with the body and i take full responsibility so with that feeling of self regulation now i take charge i will have that intake which is nurturing for the body i will have that kind of lifestyle which is in sync with nature so that the body can be in good health i will make sure that all my activities whether it be labor working with labor doing the work see earlier i may have thought to keep the body healthy i must protect it i must not go outside i must not you know um work in the soil i might get some infection something may happen so i keep trying to have um other resources other things try to do things for my body but now i take responsibility for the body and i make sure that you know i do all whatever is necessary for keeping the body healthy and then i find that i don't need that many resources i don't need medications all the time there are so many things that we use in our day to day cooking you know what we can yes. use as remedies there are so many like for instance if you look at you know this tree called parijat yes yes baby uh, so those leaves are very good for say the joints so people yes, who have yes. joint pains if you do yeah. just take those leaves and you boil them in the water and you drink that water it helps you with this or if you look at say guava tree you have the leaves of that you can boil that in the water it's very good for oral hygiene for keeping your gums healthy so like that you will find that all these things in nature some utility is there something it can be used for yes. and you use it for that rather than depending on somebody something to come up and give you some medication some pill that is going to cure you and if you see that doesn't really happen also we may mask some symptoms we may make some changes temporarily but until and unless you take responsibility also for the health by itself you will find that it is not so useful so that is about health and when it comes to profit earlier it may have been that i am thinking you know when it is unguided profit then i only think about myself so i need to make more money i need more physical facility this is how i see it so i may be exploiting others i may be exploiting nature so that i can have more and more physical facility i may be exploiting other human beings you know taking more than my fair share because i want to accumulate more and more because somewhere at the back of you know within me i have that thought that if i have more than enough if i have more than this more and more then i will be happy but when i get that much then i think okay i can have some more because that happiness does not last so i keep doing that but when i have justice guided or higher activity guided you know when i think about making profit now i will do it by rightful means i will ensure that when i work with nature 
even though i get prosperity from nature i am also enriching nature at the same time i am not just taking away and exploiting nature i am not just you know leaving behind nothing so i may you know so if i have a mango tree and there is abundance of fruit in the mango tree so whatever i get i take that i use what i can use for my family but i also share with others so i am not um just you know exploiting and at the same time i am taking the care of the tree also i give it nourishment in the form of manure and so on because anyway if you see these are all you know something that i really cannot take credit for yes i plant the seed but maybe i put it in my yard so i call it my tree <laughs> but then um the fruit when it comes it is in plenty yes so i can always share with others now my profit is on the basis of seeing that i am not exploiting other human beings i am not exploiting nature rather i am enriching nature i am nurturing others see yes. i share i give and yet there is enough there is abundance because yes, now yes. it is clear to me that physical facility has a definite role for the body so i am not trying to get the physical facility to fill the void in the self because that clarity is there with me yeah yes yes didi yes thank you didi yes from the previous class previous session i was able to understand what is the human contact at least as information my question didi in day to day world we could see so many unethical practices and inhumane contact Mm-hmm. And my question is: Will they be punished, and how they will be punished? At least the fear of getting punished will put the human beings in the right path, right track. Like that, mm-hmm. I think. See, fear is fear naturally acceptable to you? No, it is not naturally acceptable, Didi. But still. Mm-hmm. if people are getting punished for their inhumane contact and unethical behavior that will some way or other that will put the people in the right track so like that i'm thinking didi there is there are lots of um we make lots of policies lots of um rules and regulations no laws and things like that so we already have many things in place like for instance say use of drugs you have very severe punishment for that has it gotten rid of drugs no did no so similarly you know as long as the human being doesn't find fulfillment inside the human being is bound to look for fulfillment outside so stopping them doing all kinds of things like this that's not going to help you know um in some states at uh, you know if i recall some time back there was prohibition of use of liquor mm-hmm. so what people used to do they used to go out of bounds of the state mm go to the you know just outside the boundary when you reach the next state buy liquor from there mm, mm. i mean you can make laws but until and unless we are self organized it doesn't work and to be self organized we have to be able to see things as they are otherwise we have some assumption so this assumption that you know if i get this 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 i'll be happy 
we are constantly looking outside for happiness in various ways mm-hmm. it is just that some things we say are socially acceptable some things we say are not so socially acceptable mm-hmm. so when it comes to drugs when it comes to alcohol we say this is not socially acceptable so we need to punish them but what about people who are overeating it's the same thing only it's to do with food Mm-hmm. but we don't think of punishing people who are overeating isn't it because we say okay this is okay this is all right mm-hmm. so we have we we decided some things on the basis of whatever little knowledge we have so we don't have to think of it. Simply, if you see, as long as the human being doesn't feel fulfilled within, the human being is bound to look for happiness outside. If it is not drugs, it will be alcohol. If it is not alcohol, it will be smoking. It will be something else. Something else. Something else. We spoke of that, no? Yeah. So you try to escape and do something else. If laws are made, you try to avoid the laws. and you will still do something like that because you think that you will be happy only when you go outside and get something but until it becomes clear that my happiness is within until i am able to see that for myself experience that happiness within i may keep thinking that you know this is what will give me happiness so if we are worried about other people's punishment we need not be our focus should be on my happiness my happiness has nothing to do with the other being punished or not being punished if i have the right feeling within myself then with that right feeling i will have compassion for the other rather than wanting to punish the other because with fear with anxiety those kind of things they will never reach to you know or, or we are we are creating more of a problem or a hindrance for their understanding but if i have the right feeling within me i will feel compassion for them that see they are lacking understanding they are actually suffering anybody who gets into drugs you ask them if they are happy being there you will find they want to come out of it but they are not able to come out of it you ask a person who is an alcoholic is he enjoying drinking he is actually stuck because if he doesn't then he gets withdrawal symptoms same with drugs so things like this so they are stuck in that they are suffering if i see with that view that it's only lack of understanding then i will have a different approach isn't it so much work of uhb has been done on jail mates and it has been found that so many of these people are educated people but they are misguided and once they are given the right proposals they are able to come out of it so also with drug addicts so much work has been done with that also in bhutan and all so the key is for people to be able to see the fulfillment within themselves then that search for constant happiness outside that comes down then you become self organized then you don't need all these laws and rules to try to stop you does it make sense ha uh, yes diddy thank you diddy actually did i was i asked a question in the context of getting happiness did if others are punished okay i am happy about it so i am not doing any inhuman conduct like that i was thinking and it's clear did my others are punished uh, how do you become happy when others are punished did i will be thinking no did yes they did wrong and now they are suffering yeah did your natural acceptance change because they got punished 
without right understanding i'll be thinking like that only no didi that's what without mm. right understanding without referring to the natural acceptance we may think this way mm 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 but that is not a solution isn't it yes 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 didi ultimately we have a natural acceptance for all we need to do all yes yes didi so with compassion we can help them also to understand mm mm we may do the worst possible things we may have done in the past mm but the coexistence gives us this opportunity and it is the same opportunity for everybody mm, the moment mm. i want to change i want to look at my natural acceptance it is there for me mm, mm. there is no rule or law that says that you know no natural law is forcing me to not refer to my natural acceptance is there for me i just have to make that choice mm. even if i have done very bad things in the past i still have that opportunity mm. so when i to decide for somebody else i can see my my happiness lies in not only my own fulfillment but mutual fulfillment mm, mm, mm. i can see that then i will not not try to punish somebody else but rather with compassion i will try to help them mm. help them come up to myself thank you thank you so much dee that tip from my side thanks a lot dee i think we should go ahead so we were talking about the established values and the expressed values so if you look at trust when i have trust in the other trust on intention then i can see that the intention is right intention is pure it is only the competence that is lacking so the expression of ensuring trust in myself outside will be i see my complementariness with the other how to help increase the other's competence and an indicator of that will be that i am able to work with the other in a harmonious manner similarly for respect if i have my right evaluation and i rightly evaluate the other which is respect then an expression of that will be transparency so what that means is that whatever i am evaluating myself as the others evaluation of me is also the same that is transparency i am not thinking something else about myself while others are giving a different opinion of me it's not like that it is whatever i evaluate myself to be others also evaluate me to be that way that would be transparency and an indicator of that will be that i feel like the other is like me that i am complementary to the other that i am able to rightly evaluate the other the other is rightly able to evaluate me this will be an indicator similarly with affection so if i have the feeling of affection in me then an expression of that will be i will take responsibility i will have the commitment for taking responsibility for that person for whom i have affection so an indicator of that will be there's nothing forcing me to do it i am self motivated for fulfilling my responsibility in the relationship when it comes to care feeling of care an expression will be generosity so whenever we see our relationship with somebody and we have feeling of care for them we offer ourselves our body our wealth whatever it is required to take care of the other and for guidance when we say guidance so if i have the feeling of guidance in me for the person you know with whom i see my relationship 
then with this guidance i have spontaneity the expression of that so i will help to guide the self of the other it in a natural flow in a natural way so i will provide the right education the right sanskar protect them from going in the wrong direction so that will be an indicator if we look at reverence so if i have reverence for another then the expression of that will be i will obey them in fact i may even what we call worship them so an indicator will be that i will be more than willing to take inspiration from that person to go in the right direction similarly the feeling of glory if i have the feeling of glory for somebody who is working for excellence then within me as an expression outside will be simplicity or ease so now ego is not in the picture i am at ease i am comfortable saral what we say in hindi when it comes to the feeling of gratitude for those who have made effort for my excellence then expression value well it's um, a word that has been used is self restraint but in fact somyata if you see the hindi word i don't know how you can say it in english but uh, somyata would be like being gentle something like that so i will behave with lot of courtesy that will show in my expression when i have gratitude within me and ultimate complete value so when i am seeing my relatedness with every unit then i feel that oneness with every other now there is no other now there is it's all one so i have that feeling of coexistence i have that feeling of relationship with every unit in existence as if we are one there is no other that oneness i feel that is the expression the uh, under the care so this mm -hmm. is the offer of self so uh, what does it mean actually can you explain further on that offer of self body okay i can uh, do work for them i can help uh, using my body as an instrument these are okay uh, mm -hmm. by giving certain help also other way money or etc but offer of self how how is it yeah so within me i have the feeling of care so i take responsibility to take care of the body of the individual isn't it sure. now for that i will need some thought process some activity within myself no i can be available for them now i can invest myself in that process hmm isn't it hmm that would be investing yourself in fact if you see whatever you do through the body or for physical facility ultimately it starts from the self isn't it ha huh, that is correct yeah that way acha didi that uh, one thing came to my mind so i am saying that they say divakananda it is to even told that like uh, if i can uh, save even one self one person by one self he told like that uh, by giving my life so it is a very good job or like like yeah. that so that is compassion no ha huh. you are willing to give not just your self your body your physical body. Phys everything ha huh, ha huh, ha huh. helping the other to understand mm hmm hmm it's so that thing also come under this category didi well care when we are saying particularly care 
we are हाँ. talking more about the body when it comes to guidance हाँ, हाँ. हाँ, that is the correct yeah ha that 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 is got already mentioned earlier also mm-hmm. okay ji ji theek thank you it is in relation to the uh, the expressed value that is uh, of gratitude that is self restraint so i have i have, i am not very clear about it yeah actually self restraint like i said is not the right word if you understand the word somya kind of gentle courteous that kind of mm-hmm. that would be i think a more means a uh, refined refined uh, behavior within i suppose one could say that but you mm-hmm. understand the meaning right yeah yeah did my question is uh, the established values it will be there in all of us right we have to ensure it okay we have to ensure they are naturally acceptable values uh-huh. but if we are not referring to our natural acceptance we they may not be ensured in us but if we can see our natural acceptance and we work for it we can establish these values within us ensure them within us okay and about expressed values this mm-hmm. i will be able to see in others or it will be in my conduct yeah it will be in my conduct basically in my expression because i have ensured this value within me as an expression i will see what what i see in my conduct will be the expressed value okay think like how i get stuck here uh, that shraddha and pujyata uh, reverence and obedience like will i be uh, pujyat to myself or i'll be put to somebody other i'll who do i have reverence for the feeling okay. is in me but i have reverence for somebody who is reached excellence isn't it right so towards that person i will be very obedient i will almost you can say worship that person mm-hmm. right no? yeah that way. if we look at this was about the human human relationships now if you look at our participation with the rest of nature then there are two values that we must talk about one is the utility value and the other is the artistic value so this is regarding the rest of nature so with physical facility you know so if you look at the utility value utility value that which is of use to the body so utility value in terms of that which is nurturing for the body that which is for protecting the body that which is for enhancing the capacity of the body for the right use that is use in societal development the right utilization if you look at for the nurturing of the body so you can say you know physical facility like food whatever we take in for nurturing of the body that you can say has utility value that which is protecting the body so you can say clothes you can say shelter this has utility value for us because it is helping to protect the body similarly for enhancing the capacity of the body for using for societal development for instance like right now how we are connected by internet through zoom and we are trying to work on ourselves exploring and trying to work for the higher purpose for reaching the you know being able to see the reality for that we are using these facilities so it is enhancing the capacity of the body so by without the help of this facility of zoom we could not connect like this from all different states i am saying something all of you can hear you say something i can hear everybody can hear 
this would not have been possible. So we are enhancing the capacity of the body and it is being used for development for all of us. And as the circle gets bigger and bigger, it can be used for societal development. So the use of internet can be, you know, how we use it, that is up to us, but we can use it for enhancing this capacity of the body for development so that all the selves in the society can reach the development. So this is about utility value. Then you have the artistic value. Artistic value has to do with the physical facility when it comes to protecting the physical facility, making it people friendly and making it easy to use. So protecting the physical facility, like for instance, you have some, um, say a wooden chair, wooden table. If you just leave it like that, it may get spoiled over time. But if you varnish it, you, know, you are protecting the top layer from the corrosion, from the you know, environmental conditions, which can make it deteriorate. Or if you have some iron, something, you paint it, then you prevent it from getting rusted. So this would be protecting the physical facility. Artistic value also has to do with being people friendly. People friendly in a way that it facilitates the right behavior. So making it convenient for sharing, expressing, or receiving knowledge, feeling, thought. So here we are mostly focused on the behavior part. When it comes to ease and use, this is about facilitating the work, work with the rest of nature. So there we would say it is making it convenient for use when we are working with the rest of nature. So this would be about the utility value and the artistic value. Utility value when it comes to um, for the body, to nurture the body, protect the body, enhance the capacity of the body, like we just said. But when it comes to artistic value, it is about facilitating the enrichment, the protection, and the right utilization of the physical facility. So protecting the physical facility, like we said. Second thing, making it people friendly so that it can be used for sharing and expressing so that we can interact with other human beings using that physical facility for that purpose. This will help to facilitate this sharing. And when it comes to ease of use, making it convenient for use when we work with nature. So if you have some sharp object, say a sharp knife, it is very sharp edged, it can harm the body. But if we have some you know, handle or somewhere we can hold it from, now it doesn't hurt the body, it doesn't harm the body, but I can still use it. So that would be an example of that. Then now we can move to policy. Yeah, prosperity is the feeling that I have when I can see these values. No, the value, when we say value, it is at the level of understanding. No? So when I understand the value of things, the utility value, the artistic value, then with that, no, I, I have, a, when I have this with me and I can see that I already have enough, that would be feeling of prosperity. Feeling is at the level of the B2 block. When we are talking of value, 
we are still talking of um, having that being able to see this when i say my participation with the rest of nature if i am able to see this that this is what is of utility it is nurturing the body it is protecting the body it is enhancing the capacity of the body with that when i also have the feeling that i already have more than enough that will come with that understanding of how much is required so with that will be feeling of prosperity so what will be the connection uh... connection means this is about my participation my uh... participation with the rest of nature with with the physical facility being able to see the value of the physical facility feeling of prosperity is when i feel i have abundant i have more than enough because i can see that the needs of the body are limited that feeling of prosperity is in me when i can understand how much is required first and foremost that i must understand if i don't have that understanding of how much is required i may not have that feeling of prosperity isn't it to start with one is given artistic value kala mulya actually preservation value something something else will be the a suitable word no artistic value that we can think about words but uh, right now these are the words we are using but we can always think about other words yeah so we'll go further we can look at now the policy so if you look at policy policy is about how to go about doing things so values is about what to do the policy is about how to go about doing it so you have to make some plan implement it how to evaluate it what will be the outcome all this can be part of that planning for the policy so you can have policy for enrichment policy for protection and policy for right utilization enrichment protection right utilization of what of the self of the body and of the physical facility so out of all these uh, the first priority is given to right utilization because what we already have are we using it rightly so when it is when it comes to the self policy for investing the self for self study for bringing it in our living so that the self can have this knowledge the self can have this understanding and ultimately bring it in practice policy regarding the body would be to ensure that the body is also used for this purpose of the self for ensuring the right understanding and right feeling in the self as well as how to authenticate it in our living so in our behavior in our work in our participation in the larger order how the expression is there how the conduct is there in the living how is it so the body is also being used as a tool for the purpose of the self the policy for that are we really using the body in the right manner and then right utilization of physical facility to make sure that the physical facility that we have is for nurturing and protecting and rightly utilizing the body so you can see the order no first and foremost is the self rightly utilizing the self then you see that the body is for uh, you know covering that or helping with that purpose of the self and the physical facility is to help the body to nurture protect and rightly utilize the body so that is how it goes 